Hi everyone, how are you? We're going to make a Mackenzie Child inspired plate and this was my inspiration. These two little plates that I showed you from my haul from Hobby Lobby. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Dollar Tree plate. I took the tag off. I'm going to clean this, okay? Here is a Mackenzie Child napkin that I ordered from Mackenzie Child and I'm going to take and I want to get some of this check in there okay but with the flowers it is going to be perfect look showing you both of these look how perfect that napkin is going to go with both of these cuties okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and clean off both of these and you can use alcohol whatever you want I'll be back as soon as these are done and we will put this together I have my wax paper on my Lazy Susan clean plate from the Dollar Tree and my Mackenzie Child napkin so what I'm going to want to do is come in and take the plies off here because it's a three ply napkin meaning there's two pieces I'm pulling them off at the same time, but there's two of the white and then one of the pattern. You want to take that part off so all you have going on to this plate is your patterned napkin. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is turn this over and I want a little bit of that courtly check if I can get it. I'm not going to be able to get much, but if I do that, I might get at least a little bit. Cool. All right. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm just going to put a thin layer of Mod Podge, but making sure that I get the whole plate. I love the smell of Mod Podge. <laughs> For some reason, it reminds me of Knott's Berry Farm. Go figure. It's kind of that musty smell, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Make sure you get everything on there. Completely covered. And then once this lays down be careful because it's going to be hard to get it off if once it gets on there boy that barely cleared that Trying not to get any more wrinkles than I absolutely need, not that I need any, but just with a very light touch and on the rim of the plate. I don't think I got any of the check, guys. But I have another DIY coming up with this DIY napkin, with this Mackenzie Child napkin that I ordered from Mackenzie Child and I am doing another DIY with that but it won't be for spring I got a tiny little bit of the check not much but these flowers are going to go perfect so I'm going to keep doing this and waiting for it to dry and then I'll come back Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm putting a coat over 
this, okay? Because we put the coat underneath, now I'm going to put the coat on top because you want to seal it. Because if you don't seal it, it's going to rip. Okay? Be very careful because, like I said, this tissue is extremely thin without the other two plies on it. And this one I'm putting a little bit thicker, the, as you can see, coat on it. And I'm barely touching it because I don't want that tissue paper to come up with this glue. And I want it really sealed well. This Lazy Susan makes it very easy to do, which is nice. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be back. Okay guys, you know what? I wanted to show you something. I started looking at this and as it was drying, I'm going to show you on this one. Do you see how you can see right through there? Well, it's because this napkin is so thin that that's exactly what you would see. You would see through it. So what I did is I got another napkin on this one, so I'm making two, and I put the other napkin on top, and that way you're not going to see through it, okay? So I'll wait until these dry and I'll show you the difference of what I mean. So what I would do the next time, you know, live and learn, learn and live, I would go ahead and put the whole napkin on and not take away the two ply the two ply of that napkin I would put the whole thing on it because I don't think if you put the whole thing on it you'd have to do two because there's two napkins now see so we'll see once this all dries then I'll show you the difference in the plates okay I want to show you the difference guys okay here's the one where I took the two ply off the white napkin and it's still a little bit wet so but do you see how that is like clear see-through and again the white here is the Mod Podge that hasn't dried once it's dried it'll look clear like this okay so you can have one that looks like this if you want to put just the napkin without the two pieces behind it or This is the one where I put the second napkin. So I think this one is going to look prettier with these. Now, of course, all this is going to be trimmed away. Okay. And then I might come in with the gold paint pen and just do the rim gold. But that's going to be pretty once that's all taken, all of this is taken away, you can just see the plate. The other thing I was thinking, you could either just paint the back of the plate, paint the back of the plate white, and you'll get that same effect without putting the second uh, napkin on. But you could paint it white if you wanted to. I'm going to put another napkin on this one like I did with this other one here because I want the vibrance of the flower and not so uh, opaque. So once these are done and they're trimmed, I'll be back. Okay, so both plates now are dry enough for me to cut. Look how beautiful and vibrant that is. And here's the other one that I just put. It's a little bit still more see-through, although I did use the napkin twice but nevertheless I'm going to keep these flowers because you could also use them again for something else this will look pretty putting them together with my uh, bunnies so I'm cutting just really close to the edge
Okay, how pretty. And then here you have still a lot of that Mackenzie Child right in there. So you could put this on the corner of a frame, a wooden frame, which I think I might do. Oh my gosh. I love this. These are going to be perfect with these little bunny plates. Just like I thought they would. And I won't just leave these for Easter. I will use these through spring and into summer. These little bunnies as well, you wouldn't have to put away. But I brought in a table, a placemat. And the placemat I got from Hobby Lobby a few years back. And during the spring, I put it up because it, it came like this with these leaves. And then you can turn it over for autumn, whatever you want. And then here's the plate from Hobby Lobby. Remember that? And then look at this plate with it. I love interchanging. How pretty is that? Let's get closer. Oh my gosh, I love these. I love them. They look so pretty with this. Get your napkins out, get a plate from the Dollar Tree, and have some fun. Until we get together again, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Talk to you soon. Bye.